again. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Okay. I trade you? Absolutely. We'd Thank like you. you right next to this no photography Excellent. sign. Excellent. We are just back from the United States Supreme Court, where the court was hearing arguments over same-sex marriage. And uh, the justices really went after both sides in the way that we expected, and so much so that I think it's really hard to call the outcome of this. Justice Kennedy, we might as well start with him because he's at the he's center of the, the court. Person. Absolutely, he's been the leader on gay rights, but he's also a solid conservative. He's talked about the word that comes to mind to him is millennia, mm -hmm. that this has been the definition, opposite sex marriage throughout our entire history. And, you know, what is the role of the court here to step in and overturn that? And, you know, isn't there a lot of deference that's owed to that history? And the Chief Justice intervened and said, look, we've only been having this debate for 15 years, to which Mary Bonato, the lawyer for the same-sex couple, said that, well, that's what we mean when we say of a constitutional democracy. We have a constitution that, that works for everybody. And when something violates the Constitution, that's when you're supposed to intervene. But it was not entirely clear to me that, that the Chief Justice or Kennedy bought that argument. No, I, I think not. And, and of course, these justices have been thinking about this question for years. So we don't really expect the oral argument to maybe change so many minds. It might affect how the opinion is written. But it mostly gives us signs as to where the justices are at. And I, the signs I got were that they were quite divided. So mm -hmm. Justice Kennedy then coming back to the lawyer for the state and saying, well, I have some hard questions for you too. And that is that um, I had had the sense that the purpose of marriage was to give dignity to these relationships. And it certainly seems that you're denying equal dignity to these couples who deserve it. And also that the importance of these relationships, he said to the lawyer for the state, is you say it's to promote child rearing, but these couples are raising adopted children mm -hmm. and doing it in a very important role. And that seems to cut against your position as well. In fact, the lawyer for Michigan who represented the state's point of view, John Bruch, kept hitting that over and over again. You know, there are lots of definitions we could have, but the one we have emphasizes procreation. And of course, at that point, uh, Justice Ginsburg said, well, what about a 70-year-old couple? They're not going to engage in procreation. And he said, well, the guy could. <laughs> That's basically what he said. Yeah, that not didn't, a very That didn't answer. go over really well. And, and there are all kinds of reasons to get married, um, many members of the court said, what is the justification for excluding these people from getting married? And the court was deeply divided. You could just see it from A to Z. Yeah, I, d I think it's very hard to predict the outcome. You know, the Chief Justice asked hard questions of both sides. He asked, for example, why is it if um, Joe loves Jane, he can get married, but if Joe loves Mike, he cannot. Is that not sex discrimination, as apart from every other thing in the case? So he was raising issues of both sides, as the Chief Justice tends to do. If, it, if it, Predictions are very, very dangerous here, but you would have to say that this is going to come out in the way that many people thought it would, five to four. But mm -hmm. knowing which side's going to get the five is pretty unpredictable. What happens next is they will meet in conference at the end of this week, and they'll vote. Uh, they'll discuss the case, and they'll vote. And based on that vote, which is, of course, always tentative, the Chief Justice, if he's in the majority, assigns the opinion. If he's not in the majority, the senior justice in the majority assigns the opinion. But the justices have a hard and fast rule uh, to finish up their work by the beginning of July. And so it's not a situation where America's going to be waiting for many months or years or anything like that. You'll be able to come back to morning edition at 10 o'clock in the morning in a day late, late, late in June, and the court will give us the answer. Exactly right. They don't like us uh, being able to come out of the oral argument and tell you what's going to happen. They like the main event to be their opinion. Well, let's put it this way. We'd be idiots. If you <laughs> anyway, I'm Nina Totenberg, Tom Goldstein. Thank you for joining us. You look very dapper. I feel very phallic. What? <laughs>